Onatola Onajobi is watching some of his favorite musicians and their music videos through a virtual reality headset at a care home in Lagos, Nigeria. The 77-year-old used to be a disc jockey in his heyday. He says the VR unit has helped him connect with music more intimately than ever before. It looks as if I was watching Richard on stage. He gave me a feeling I can never forget. The VR experience is all thanks to Kunle Adewale. He is an artist who focuses on what he refers to as therapeutic art projects. After the death of his parents, he decided to make helping senior citizens living the rest of their lives in happiness a priority. The virtual reality stuff is more of the gaming thing for, for the youth, but there's so much potential that it can offer in the place of health and improving their well-being and their health status as well. So that is why I started this. <laughs> Nigeria's population continues to climb relatively quickly, and analysts have also highlighted a widely ingrained resistance to placing older family members in care facilities. Modupe Augusto runs the elderly care home and insists people's attitude needs to change. We need to educate people and let them know that it's old people are not witches. Because they have white hair does not mean they're a witch. They have lived life. They were, they were once young, vibrant, you know, active, just like we are. While virtual reality cannot replace visits by family and short trips outside the care home, Adewale's Art in Medicine project is a safe way to put smiles on faces and get senior citizens dancing. Sometimes the seniors get to experience this uh, virtual reality and it seems that they can't get out of it. It's like they find themselves in the world, in their own world. Uh, they stay longer, they, they want to stay there forever. Oh my, yeah, yeah.